In this video, we will be learning how to use Blackboard Connect to send mass emails, text messages, and phone calls to students and parents. To log into Blackboard Connect, go to richland2.parentlink.net and log in with your school Google account. This will take you to the home page. Let's start with creating a new message. Click on Create a Message. The default option is to create an email. On the left side of the screen, we have some choices we need to make. The first is to write a subject heading for our email. We also need to select recipients for the email. You can begin by selecting a class period. You have the option to email all parents and all students. If I'm emailing parents, I can take students off of my email. I can also search for and select particular students and their parents if I need to send an email to a small group. Your recipients will not see who else received the message, so you can choose specific parents or students to send a more focused message without worrying about privacy concerns. Next up, it's time to select the send time for the email. We can send the email immediately or we can schedule it. This option allows you to set up your messages in advance and have them go out at a time that makes sense. Before we look at the final two options on the left side, let's write the email. I always like to click the more option at the top of the message box so that I can access formatting options like bold, italics, underline, and so on. Type your message in the box here. You can also click on the I symbol to preview your message. If you would like to add attachments to your email, you can click the paper clip in the bottom left corner of the message box and attach a file. Now that your message is written, let's talk about the language option. By clicking a language, you can add that language as an option. This means that as long as your message is written before you click a new language, Blackboard Connect will automatically translate the message into all of the languages you select. If everything looks good, you're ready to send. Just click the send button. Let's talk about sending text messages and phone calls. The text message option works just like the email option. The only difference is that you can't add special formatting and you are limited to 120 characters. This option is best for short reminders or sending links. I recommend signing your name so that parents and students know who the text message is from. Sending a phone call gives you a few different options. You can record your voice with the call me to record, call in to record, and use microphone options. You can also upload an audio file if you've already recorded your message. You can also select text to speech, which also allows you to preview your message. The phone call will appear to be coming from your school's main phone line. So just like with text messages, you should include your name and who you are in your phone call. You may also want to include your email address in the message if you want recipients to be able to contact you with questions. The last option I want to show you is saved messages. Here you will find several folders. The miscellaneous folder shows you any messages you have sent previously. This can be useful if you want to send a similar message to something you've sent before. You can open any of these and edit them. The other folders contain pre-written email messages. These cannot be edited. I personally do not use the pre-written messages because I cannot edit them but they might be useful if you're looking for some wording suggestions or a template. Now that you've sent your message, let's take a look at how to track your messages. From the home page, you can click reports and then message tracking. This allows you to revisit any messages you have sent. You will likely have to change the date range so that you can view your older messages. Let's take a look at one of my previously sent messages. By clicking on the message, I can see how many people successfully received my message. If I click over to the content tab, I can see exactly what I sent. By clicking on the details tab, I can see when I sent the message and who I sent it to. Now you're ready to send messages through Blackboard Connect. In my personal experience, parents have really appreciated periodic updates and information via email and Blackboard Connect made it so much easier for me to keep parents informed when we began distance learning last semester. If you have additional questions about Blackboard Connect, I recommend reaching out to your school's technology learning coach. Thanks for watching.